Bah! Yes, it's Boxing Day. What's on Boxing Day? Boxing Day specials. And me, like everybody, I've been waiting for the specials to see what's on offer. And there's been certain products with certain companies that I've been thinking about buying stuff, but I thought, oh, I'll hang off until Boxing Day because I'll probably be able to get them half price, 30% off, 40% off, like everybody. And the challenge with that from a business point of view is that once you bring your price right down, it's hard to go back up and people will feel uncomfortable paying full price knowing that they can actually just wait out, wait it out until you've got a special. For example, here in New Zealand, there's a place called Briscoe's and I never buy anything full price there if it's full price I just wait a day or a week and then it's half price on another day in one of those Briscoe specials and they've obviously yeah from my guesstimation that they've probably yeah calculated and budget their finances on the discounted price and if you pay full price and that's just a bonus so businesses that have a high turnover low margins they will tend to be more comfortable you know doing discounts or Boxing Day specials or Black Friday specials because they've got a high turnover, they can make it up. But if you have a high quality product or service and you go down that slippery slope of doing specials, then there's a couple of challenges with that. First of all, then people won't be say, so comfortable paying full price because you've actually devalued your business service and product by discounting it. So if you discount it, you discount the value, which means that they're not comfortable paying the full price because they're thinking, well, if you can actually discount that amount and make a profit, then the full price is actually actually ripping me off. You're actually overcharging because you can actually charge a lower price and still make a profit by the customer's view. The other, the other challenge is if someone else has bought the product full price and everyone else is getting it half price, then they get a little being there by them as well, saying, well, look, I've been a little bit ripped off here. I didn't actually get the special. I paid full price. Therefore, I don't value my service or I don't value my experience with that business so much anymore because I feel I've been ripped off and everyone else has got a deal and I've been left out of that. So just be very careful if you're putting positioning yourself in the marketplace as a high value, high customer service type uh, business, then discounting your service or your product is devaluing, devaluing your service and product and also devaluing the experience to those customers who actually paid full price, which means you'll probably start to lose those customers, or they'll just start waiting it out until there's a special, therefore now you have to adjust your whole financials to be making a profit on the discounted price, not so much the full price. So be careful that slippery slope and beware there are consequences when you actually start to do specials as it seems to be uh, around Christmas time. And that would be no capital.